When she's out on the road, Anna Whiteley is always on the lookout for advice from the world's best players and coaches to improve her game and hopefully yours as well. Wow! Today she's in the company of one of the game's all-time greats, who's got some tips to help calm those first tee nerves. We're down here on the range at the climax of the Faldo series where we are lucky enough to be joined by none other than the man himself, Sir Nick Faldo. And you're going to give us some tips, Oh, we'll give you a little Nick. lesson, yeah. Good stuff. Well, we, uh, we thought we'd start at the right place, the, uh, <laughs> the make-believe first tee okay. shot. And uh, we would love to hear your thoughts on how to kill first tee nerves, pre-shot routines, just to help the amateurs at home to kind of feel comfortable on the first tee. Yeah, well, I know with club golfers, you've probably driven, I, I, when I do my clinics for fun, I say you've just driven all the way there thinking, oh my gosh, I hope Bob's not on the first tee, because every time Bob's on the first tee, I top it off the first. <gasps> you see, so you paint, and then you, or another person will be saying, oh, I hate the first, because the tree's on the right, and I always hit it in the trees, and another person will say, oh, it's a pond down the left, and oh, I can't miss it, I keep it. So what do you keep picturing? Look what you keep picturing. Yeah. So they'll give you the Crash Course 101 on sports psychology sort of thing, or visualizing. It's, the great word is to ask yourself, well, what, what do I want? Yeah, I use those two words, but wants the key, want, but what do I want to do? So if I look down the face, and, and if you ask that question to yourself mm -hmm. now, what do I want? Hopefully, yeah. you're going to see, or you're going to get an answer. Mm -hmm. So what do you want? I would like straight down the middle with a little baby fade. Well, there you go. Yeah, because yeah. that's your comfort <laughs> shot as well, which is yeah. very important. So don't go on the first tee and go, oh, boy, this cold is a big hook and I can't hit a big hook because I get me. Well, go yeah. with what you can do. Yeah. So great, you pictured what you want. And the other important things you didn't say, which I love when people say, well, I don't want to slice it and I don't want to top it and get me. Because if you, yeah. what do you picture? If I say, don't slice it, where does the ball go? If I say, Ooh. don't top it, where mm -hmm. does it go? So you, exactly, you, you said to yourself, I want this. Yeah. Well, now we're in golf, we have the luxury of a practice swing. Mm -hmm. So I really would recommend you make a practice swing that matches your picture. Yeah. So can you picture a golf ball flying? Uh, very much so, yeah. Well, feeling, that's great. Some people positive. can't. Some people think, oh, I've just got to hit this thing and it goes from here to there no. to there. See but the if flight. you've got that ability, and so try that. I mean, Jack Nicklaus did it. He called it going to the movies. Tiger calls it, you know, uh, you know, or hitting the shot into the picture. So he has a pic putting into the picture or hitting the teacher. Get me? So you've got to see it, whether it's conscious or subconscious, but try and make it conscious. Okay. Oh, I want this golf ball to go and see it finish. That's the important thing. You've got to see the finish line. Otherwise, you know, so see where you want it to finish. Right, now make a practice swing okay, to kind of match what you're hoping to yep. do. So this is a and I always say, imagine you've got an imaginary golf ball and go at, go at race speed, give it a bit of whoop. Okay. Right, now, if that felt good... I think that felt OK. No. 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 Well, there we this go. This is the so, positive first So a lot of people go, oh, I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit off of balance, but, you know, I'll fix I'll it during it. the swing. Yeah. Well, you can't, so make a decent okay. practice. Wait one more, and then hopefully the little voice will say, oh, that's better, I like that. Yeah. There you go, so you gave a little bit yeah. more commitment. Right, and if you liked it, stand up and do it now. OK. Now, now commit to the... So you would do the... Do the usual pre-shot. No, you've done all that. No, you saw all it, that, you felt that. it, now, <laughs> you, now you crack on. Don't don't. I've never felt so positive over a ball. No, exactly. Here you go. Limey pole, yeah. it works. It actually works. There you go. And I think that's even more telling if you're kicking off on a par three, because all you think is, don't want to go in the bunker, yeah, don't, don't want to go in the water. Picture. And the other thing is you can... Uh, to just jump the other little to help you. If you look down a hole and you see a bunk and you see out of bounds, just it's at night. You can actually say, I was taught this, and it's confirmed now. My good friend Shellen Hargit, say thank you, thank yeah. you for giving me. The, it's like walking out when you stand on the edge of a road. You see a bus, well, you don't keep walking. Mm -hmm. You go, well, thank you. I'll wait for him. Yeah, it's the same thing. So if you look down and see a bunk and if you say, oh, I don't like that. Uh, oh, I don't like the out of bounds. Well, fine. So well, I'm not going to go there because I want to hit it there onto the green. So then you repaint the picture, but you can't stand over the golf ball going, I want to hit it there, but oh, I can still see the bunker there, yeah. and I can still see that you've got to have a clear picture, a clear intention with yeah. your practice swing, mm -hmm. and then commit to it. And okay. then the, the hardest thing is that little bit of trust, but that comes from if you spend a little bit of time on the range and you've hit just enough balls to go, I know I can do that, and then off you go. And there's another great word, no. If wow. you know you can do it, mm -hmm. 
that's confidence. If, I, if you know you can... When you first went to ride a bicycle, you didn't know what was going to happen, didn't you? Get yeah. me? Now you've done it, you know what's going to happen, you can feel the wobble and off you go, get me? Very much so. So if you know what you're doing, that gets rid of all the nerves. But if you don't know what you're doing, whoa, then <laughs> the nerves are trying to knock you over. So that's my crash course. It's, it's what do I want? How am I going to do it? Is your practice swing? Commit to it. Crack on, because I know. I know I can do this. Yeah. And you commit. Simple as that. Lovely stuff, Sonic. Well, that is a perfect place <laughs> to finish, but I, would, I think the viewers oh, at minute. home would love oh, to can... see you smoke one down the driving oh, range, my, I think. My goodness. I don't know about... <laughs> Yeah, I'll do all the opposites to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the important thing is, and the other thing that you hear us talk about a lot, you know, first tee, the, the pros are on the range. They, they can picture the first tee. Uh -huh. It's very important that because this first tee is very important. And, uh, you, and if, especially if it demands some shape or there's, it's a, usually a pretty tough hole, first hole, nine times out of ten on tour. So you want to stand up and get on with it. So you know on the range... I like a fade at one because I go down the left to miss the bunkers and you, so you rehearse a few of those on the range. So, you know, you've seen it, you've felt it and then exactly the same thing. And, and here's another st stupidly simple tip. Most golf balls have got names or something or, you, or we put lines on them mm -hmm. to help you. Gosh, if I'm going down the left side of the fairway, you know, I might, I'll point that, oof, but I'm nervous on the first two. <laughs> So if you point the name of where you want to, the blimmin' thing to start, get me? How yeah, I, that's a good so how tip. how stupidly I would, simple I is that? that? I only, only cottoned on to that last year. Yeah. <laughs> Where my whole career, and then like suddenly you thought... what could have done. <laughs> yeah, I suddenly thought, this is a really tight tee shot. So I put the blimmin' line on the ball, and I thought... And then, because when you land, stand up here, at least I now know... Oh, well, that I know is straight. I just sort of said, oh, now the face is square. Now I know I'm standing in the right direction. You line it up. Look, now I know I've, my stance will make sense. That's what I've been rehearsing. Mm -hmm. And I stand up and belt one, right? Give a bit of speed. There you oh, go. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Blimey. OK, good stuff. Well... Crikey, how about that? <laughs> Thank you so much, Senek, and hopefully this will help you battle some of those first tea nerves back at home as well. 